I'm here with Harmon's Cooking School. I'm Chef Debbie and I work at all the cooking schools. We have seven of them in our Harmon's grocery stores. Um, I actually facilitate the kids camps and that is one of my joys is to work with your children. So today we're actually going to do a recipe that your children can do. And don't be afraid to let them get in the kitchen and work. You'd be amazed at how well these children can cook and what they do and what they can create. Now for this recipe we're using flour, sugar, eggs, salt, really nummy vanilla. I can't stress enough using good vanilla and um, butter of course and baking cocoa. So let's get started and then when we get done with this we're going to create something that the whole family can get involved with and that's to make a hot fudge brownie sundae. So I have already melted this. We've got a cup of butter, and I've already melted this, so, and then I'm going to put your cocoa in here, and I'm going to whisk this until it gets smooth. And then we're just going to set this aside until we're ready to use it. Whoops. Now I actually took that whisk and went a little crazy, and you can see how I made a mess, and that's exactly what I tell your children not to do. So. And when I say children, I take children up to, I, I'm the oldest chef we've got in this whole, I think, the whole Harmons. So if you're 40 years old, you're a child to me. <laughs> so I'm getting that smooth. And now we're going to set that aside. Okay. And that is unsalted butter, by the way, because you want to be able to control your salt level. And so I usually use just unsalted butter. Now, I'm going to show you the most accurate way of measuring, especially with flour. Um, that would be with weight. Now, on our recipe, we do have it with cups, and if you want to know the correct way to measure using a cup, go on to our blueberry lemon scone that I did um, just a while back, and you can see how to do measure, correct measuring that way. So I've put my container on here already so it can be teared out so it'll be zero. And I need 235 grams. Now you'll get them in kilograms, you'll get pounds, you'll get ounces, and this one's going to be in grams. So I'm moving that to grams and I need 235. So I'm doing that right now. You can't get any more accurate than this. Just a little bit more, I'm at 200, there we go, 235. I'm going to get this out of our way now so we can get to work on making these brownies. Now most of you have probably made brownies either out of a box, which please look how easy this is, or you don't use a mixer. Now there's two different kinds of brownie. There's a chewy brownie and there's a cake-like brownie. I prefer the cake-like. So the difference with that is you will use more eggs, you'll have more moisture, and you will whip it to get the volume in it, okay? So I'm dumping all of these eggs in at once. I know a lot of recipes you'll do one at a time, but this is all at once. And we're putting all of our sugar in at once. And when I first start this, I want you to notice how dark of a yellow color this is. So the way you will know that you are done whipping this, and I can already see, you want to make sure you scrape down often, because I can see egg up there on the side. Okay, and I will scrape it off there to get all the goodies in there. And now we're going to, look how yellow that is. We're going to turn that up to high, and we're going to do that for a minute or two until we get to a pale, pale yellow. And that's when you know you're done. So while we're doing that, we had a discussion before I even started this. Nuts or no nuts? You know what? It's okay. If you don't want nuts, you don't have to. But if you do, go ahead and add them. I made our first recipe here with nuts. But this one we're going to do without nuts. But I'll tell you when I would add the nuts if I did that. Now look how pale that yellow that is. You can see that it's getting a lot lighter. So now is when I'm going to add my vanilla. Now, you want a teaspoon and a half. I never measure my vanilla, I'm sorry. But you will probably want to. And always use a good quality vanilla. 
We love real vanilla and a good quality. It will make a difference in your recipe. And this is where I'm going to add the salt. So, because we don't have salt in our butter. So I have adjusted for salt in here, and now I'm going to whip that up a little more. And next, ooh, now who doesn't love chocolate? Is that just like heaven in a pan? Get rid of that. And I'm going to put all of this chocolate in here. And it doesn't have to be completely cool. I, all I did, you've seen how long it was sitting there. In fact, some recipes will have you do everything right in the pan. And yes, that's a lot easier recipe, but that's your chewy brownie. Okay. Can you see how easily your children could do this and how much fun they'd have doing this? All right, so now we're going to mix this up. And when I was doing my pan, the reason I have this parchment in here, let me get rid of that, is sometimes you just want to be able to lift them out and cut them. You don't have to use parchment, but I like to cut at the size of the pan. And then I will spray, and I use this. This is a spray oil with flour in it. I really, really like this. I will put a little bit in here to hold the parchment, and then I'll put my parchment in and spray it in inside the parchment as well. Okay, so now I've mixed that up. And you've seen, I didn't mix that up a lot, but look how you need to scrape. Can you see the yellow coming up there? So you do need to scrape the bottom of the bowl all the way around. And then I'm going to run this just one more time. I really like these whisk things here because then I can get everything off of it. All right, that'll do it. Now we're going to add the flour. And I'm adding it all at once. But I'll tell you something you don't want to do when you're doing this. Never be tempted to turn this up high. You can have flour all over you. It's going to be a mess. So I kind of do a little bit like this. See how I kind of just get it going until it all gets moistened? Then I just, you really don't need to turn it up any higher than this because you don't want to beat it too much. Now you can see there's still flour showing. That's okay. I'm going to do the rest by hand. I'm going to shake that off of there. Ooh, look at that chocolate. All right, now I'm going to take this off. This is where if you were going to add nuts, you would put nuts in. And now make sure you scrape all the way around the bowl. Get everywhere in there and just gently fold this around until you have the flour mixed in there. So you're going to go all the way around there. And now we're going to pour it in here. Yeah. That is just looking heavenly. And scrape your bowl out. I think these spatulas are way underused. I hope you can see somewhere in the camera. I'm going to turn this this way. So you can see how clean I'm getting this out of the bowl. Because you want all of this. And you want to get that all in your pan, just like that. And now I'm going to take a little offset spatula because you need this evenly spread in here. And I'm going to kind of spread this around. Make sure I get it up there, there, because I can see almost all of this is in the center. And I may even give it a little gentle tug there. And into the oven. Now this is at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Because of the magic of TV, we are going to assemble a hot fudge brownie sundae. Okay, so here we've got, now you just let your imagination go with you. I'm going to put a little brownie in there. Ah, let's see, I think I need a little banana. And I made some hot fudge sundae, or some hot fudge sauce. And that recipe will be linked to, it's very easy, the brownie on our website. So look for that there. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Ooh, yum. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love that? Now we need a little bit of ice cream. 
or maybe a lot, depending on what you like. Okay, let's get that. I might have let that get a little bit soft, but we're going to go with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now some strawberries. Don't you think it needs some strawberries? And I'm making a mess again, of course. I might have got carried away with the ice cream. And we've got caramel. This, Mrs. Richardson, if you don't want to make your own, this is like the best sauce. I would highly recommend that. Now we're going to put some hot fudge sauce here. Mm, check it out. Oh, yeah, let's have some more. You can't have too much chocolate. Now we're going to put some whipping cream on here. And this lovely strawberry. Ah, you've got to hang on. Hang on there, buddy. Ooh, that's going to be scary. <laughs> anyway, you can see that your family's going to have so much fun creating these. So for this recipe and others, I want you to go to harmonsgrocery.com. And you can look at this as many times as you want on YouTube. And I want to see you post your pictures of it. Hashtag my Harmons and make this and post it for us. Thank you so much. <laughs>